I don't know if you heard Josh Rosen just moments ago, but he sounded like a totally mature kid who's enjoying his time with Fitzpatrick in the quarterback room, not like somebody who's like, hey, I'm entitled to get this job right from Jump Street, like this, the kid that everybody thought uh, he would be based on all the red flags that I think were inappropriately applied to him. That's my obviously slanted setup question, but I'm wondering what you think of Rosen in Miami and w the way he's conducted himself here, Kurt. But yeah, I mean, I think the way that he's conducted himself has been nothing but class. And, you know, I think so often when people see, you know, any professional athlete, um, but for whatever reason, you know, that's kind of been the narrative with Josh Rosen is that he's entitled and, you know, he thinks things should be given to him. And all of that stuff has kind of been the narrative all the way from college. And, you know, even to the point where a lot of people were saying, ah, we don't really like his demeanor because of that. Um, I don't think we've seen anything but exactly the opposite as he's gone through this entire thing, whether it's saying the right thing, showing up, um, you know, for, for team workouts, uh, when there's all the speculation, um, you know, the video that was posted, you know, congratulating Kyler and, you know, saying thanks to the fans and the organization, uh, to the way that he's carrying himself now and the things that he's saying about the organization. And uh, as you just said on your show about Coach uh, Kingsbury, and, and I mean, all of that stuff, I mean, he's done nothing but say and do the right things. And, you know, whatever has brought that about, is that who the young man has always been? Has it been through different trials and challenges? Sometimes that, um, you know, that matures us and that allows us to grow up and step back and, and see the big picture, um, you know, with, with things that are going on. I don't know what it is, but um, all I know is he's handled it with uh, a great attitude, with class, uh, and he's looking forward to the new challenge. Um, you know, as he said, not expecting to be handed the football or handed the starting job, uh, but simply to continue to learn and try to find the best situation for him to succeed. So, um, yeah, I tip my hat to him because that, that's not an easy situation. Um, you know, it's not even easy to say the right thing all the time. Um, and, you know, he's done nothing but, uh, but carrying, carry himself the right way. Um, and that would have to excite me. Uh, if I'm the Miami Dolphins, with the way that he's done things and the way that he's really set himself up as he enters our organization. And obviously we're going to see a lot more of, of who this guy is as, as we move forward. But, um, you know, but it, but it excites me that we made that move and we're getting a kid that seems to be very mature um, and accepting of the situation that he's in now and excited to work and, uh, and try to earn the position. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.